Here the question is: A company has set up an employee wellness program and combined it with the premium for health insurance. The full standard premium for a health insurance policy is four hundred dollars. The program has the following rules: Number one, employees who make a pledge on the honor system that they don't smoke. Or that they take a stop smoking class and have a BMI below thirty, get ten percent off their contribution toward the full standard insurance premium. Number two, employees who fill in a health risk assessment with more health details will be rewarded with a twenty five dollars reduction in premium. Number three. Employees who participate in a yearly health control at the company, a, receive a fifty dollars reduction in their premium for having a BMI of twenty seven point five or less, and a twenty five dollars reduction for having a BMI below thirty. And b, if they are non-smokers, they receive an additional fifty dollars reduction in their premium. And those that have joined a stop smoking class receive a twenty-five dollars reduction. Smokers pay an additional premium of seventy-five dollars. How many test cases are needed to achieve one hundred percent test coverage of equivalence partitions of the input parameters when testing this specification by applying the equivalence partitioning test design technique? And what will be the maximum? And minimum resulting premium. These are your options. Let's first build the equivalence classes diagram. For these types of questions, it's important that we draw the equivalence classes diagram. To draw the diagram, we need to refer to this data. Standard insurance policy is a four hundred dollar. The first condition is employee making pledge. Here we can make two conditions: employee making pledge and employee not making pledge. If they don't make pledge, they will not get any discount. And if they make pledge, they will get ten percent off. With this, the first condition is fulfilled. The second condition is employee filling health risk form. Here again, we will get two conditions. If employee don't fill health assessment form, they will not get any discount. If employee fill health assessment form, they will get twenty five dollar off. With this, the second condition is fulfilled. Now let's move to the third condition, which has two sub conditions. As per condition one, here if your BMI is less than twenty seven point five, you will get fifty dollar. If your age is less than thirty, you will get twenty-five dollars. And if you don't fall under any of this, you will get zero dollar. As per condition two, if you are a non-smoker, you will get fifty dollar reduction. If they join stop smoking class, they will get twenty-five dollar reduction. But if you are a smoker, then you have to pay additional seventy-five dollar. This is how we have to draw the equivalence classes diagram. For more clarity, you can listen to the explanation again. Now let's see how many test cases are required to test this effectively. Suppose first test case is for smokers. They are not part of pledge. They didn't fill health risk form, and since they didn't participate in any of it, they have to pay additional seventy-five dollar. Now, next test case is for smokers who participate in pledge and filled health risk form and join non-smoking class. Then they will get fifty dollar off. Now, only twenty five dollar column is left out, so we just need to write one more test case to cover it. That means with three test cases, we can cover all the conditions. Now we need to find out the maximum and minimum premium possible here. Calculating maximum premium is simple. We know that the premium is four hundred dollar, 
and if you a smoker and didn't participate in any program, you have to pay additional seventy-five dollar. That means four hundred plus seventy-five, which is four hundred seventy-five dollars. So maximum premium one can pay is four hundred and seventy-five. Now let's calculate the minimum possible premium. For that, first we need to find the ten percent of four hundred, which is forty dollar. Now here twenty-five is the max reduction, so we'll consider twenty-five for our calculation. Similarly, here fifty dollar is the max value, so we will consider fifty dollars for our calculation. And here again, fifty dollar is the max value. Now you need to add all these values and subtract it from four hundred to get the minimum premium value. So, four hundred minus forty, twenty-five, fifty, and fifty gives two hundred and thirty-five. Maximum premium one can pay is two hundred and thirty-five. The conclusion is we need three test cases: maximum premium is four hundred seventy-five dollar, and minimum premium is two hundred thirty-five dollars. That means option three is the correct answer.